Ali and for the ICJP. The work that they do is absolutely invaluable. Uh, is the mic working, Abdullah, if you can check, please? Okay. So the work that they are doing, as you've just heard, is, is absolutely invaluable, and uh, they have our support and our solidarity. Um, our next speaker, who's been waiting on Zoom now for a while, um, needs absolutely no introduction for myself. One of the most eminent, one of the most prominent um, religious authorities and scholars and imams, followed by millions around the world, um, Sheikh Dr. Yasser Al-Qadi, who's a resident scholar of the Memphis, uh, oh, sorry, who's a scholar of the East Plano Islamic Center in Dallas, the Dean of the Islamic Seminary of America and the Chair of the Fiqh Council of North uh, America. Uh, Sheikh Yasser Al-Qadi, are you with us? Assalamu alaikum. I am indeed. Can you hear me? I uh, can indeed. Over to you. You have 10 minutes, my dear brother. Go ahead. Oh. Uh, but first and foremost, thank you for Qurdaba Foundation uh, for inviting me to speak about a topic that is so uh, emotional and so near and dear to all of us. Since time is limited, uh, and since I'm speaking to you from America, uh, I will uh, jump straight in. And I want to summarize uh, some of the sentiments and some of what we're seeing in this part of the world. Uh, and the fact of the matter is that there is, in fact, bad news and there is good news. Uh, let's begin with the bad news. Uh, the bad news is that it is, it is truly uh, disheartening to see the blatant one-sided support uh, from our political establishment. Uh, and in fact, if we can really say this is an almost total blindness uh, to the pain and the suffering uh, and the ongoing genocide in, in Gaza. So many things have happened in the last five or six weeks that are frankly uh, disheartening to say the very least. I mean, as soon as um, uh, the attack began, the bombings began, uh, the House passed a, a bill to increase aid to Israel to the tune of $14.3 billion. Uh, repeatedly, the House and the Senate has refused to call for a ceasefire. Uh, two weeks ago, roughly two weeks ago, when the only Palestinian American in the Senate, uh, 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 Rashida Tlaib, when she merely retweeted a, a video uh, that had the phrase from uh, River to the Sea, uh, she was censured. The House voted, and this is a rare move, the entire House voted to censure one of their own members. And in fact, uh, Senator Blackburn, Senator Blackburn, accused uh, Rashida Tlaib of having ties to Hamas. She did, she did this publicly. And she accused her of calling for a genocide of the Jewish people. These are blatant lies. But the fact that a senator publicly uh, did this, and she wasn't uh, criticized. Rather, Rashida today was uh, criticized, and the House actually passed an entire uh, vote. And uh, by an overwhelming majority, she was censured by the House simply for expressing her views as a, a Palestinian. And in fact, um, this hasn't changed. Two days ago, or uh, three days ago, actually two days ago, uh, the House overwhelmingly passed a resolution to reaffirm that, uh, this, and, I, and I quote straight from the resolution, that the state of Israel is not a racist or an apartheid state, and that the Congress rejects all forms of anti-Semitism and xenophobia, and the United States will always be a staunch partner and supporter of Israel, end quote. This vote was passed 412 to 9 uh, nays, 412 uh, yeas and only nine nays and only one uh, uh, one absent or one abstination not voting. 412 people basically said that uh, criticism of Israel is anti-Semitic. This is how the uh, resolution has been interpreted, that to criticize Israel and to criticize the legitimacy of Israel actions is tantamount to anti-Semitism. And this is a very, very dangerous sentiment that unfortunately has been formalized now by the House. And it's not just our politicians. In fact, the sad reality is that institutions of higher learning, universities, are overwhelmingly getting involved in a political conflict that they have no need to be a part of. This has nothing to do with universities. And yet, 
overwhelmingly the premier institutions of higher learning are releasing statements or are actually attempting to ban legitimate student protests. And of course, Harvard being what it is, uh, being, it has become the center of attention when mass student protests in support of the people of Palestine against Israeli genocide took place. Uh, the, uh, board, the, uh, the board of Harvard actually got involved, attempted to shut down the Palestinian uh, student bodies, and 